remote outback of Western Australia near the town of Onslow, BHP is developing the Macedon gas field. The responsibility for the 90 km onshore pipeline and the installation of the 32 km onshore umbilical was given to the Stryker Club joint venture. The international experience of Stryker Group in pipeline construction combined with the engineering and local know-how of Club Limited equipped the project team with the right tools to handle the safety, environmental and construction challenges of this project. The Macedon Gas Project will deliver natural gas from the depths of the Indian Ocean to the people of Western Australia. For the delivery team, safety is an absolute priority and applying the zero harm policy was fundamental to the success of the project. If somebody has the feeling it's an unsafe situation, he can stop the work and uh, we have a look, can we change the situation? When construction activities for the pipeline started in August 2011, the route was surveyed. Access roads were built along the entire length of the pipeline. On the right of way, vegetation was cleared and all heritage sites were left untouched. Traditional landowners, the Thalangi tribe, were invited to come out and check the area with us and they were able to identify areas that had artefacts and these were deemed to be heritage sites and we delineated them and we stayed away from these areas. The pipeline was delivered from the yard in Karatha where it was welded into straight lengths as well as supplied bends to follow the natural ground contour. The efficiency was the, uh, was the, with the welding crews was the most part and uh, if the welders aren't keeping up the pace we sort of start falling behind but the, uh, the welders did really perform very well for us and it was, uh, excellent, uh, it was an excellent result. Stryker Group from Germany is an international organization that specializes in the design and construction of pipelines worldwide. Stryker provided the project with specialized services in directional drilling and hydrostatic testing through its two subsidiaries of Drilltech and PSI. Directional drilling was used to drill two horizontal holes of 900 meters each to reduce the impact on the environment in conjunction with the zero harm policy on the project. Our vision is uh, that we have no harm uh, to our people and no harm uh, to uh, environmentalists. The trenches for the pipeline and for the umbilical have been built with the greatest possible care for the environment. We had acid sulphate soils through the supratidal area, so when excavating we would expose that to oxygen which would cause contamination. So we had to treat with lime and then do daily field and laboratory testing before backfilling to ensure that it wouldn't harm the environment. Zero harm is taken seriously which means that the native fauna is protected on a daily basis. We do twice daily inspections of the open trench. Um, that's to capture anything that's in there and then release them into the bush. Uh, we've mainly been getting reptiles, uh, but also marsupials. And um, we've been getting up to sort of five to 6,000 in a week in 15 case of open trench. The Stryker Club joint venture has installed what is believed to be the longest onshore umbilical pipeline in Australia. The umbilical line runs from the shoreline to the gas plant and provides hydraulic lines, electrical cable and fibre optics that are part of the sophisticated remote controls for the wells in the Indian Ocean. Pulling the umbilical casing across the Ashburton River is one of the unique aspects of this project. Practically this is the first time an umbilical has been pulled through a uh, river casing. What we are doing here is a dynamic umbilical pull. Uh, we're pulling it through a river and we're also pulling it through a supratidal area, also referred to as a salt flat. With over 90 years of local experience, Clough provided the engineering design required for the installation of the umbilical lines. We've had to incorporate towing the vessel and that took four side booms to the front. Behind that was three excavators lowering in the um, umbilical cable into the trench. So we've had to mould all this together and uh, make sure that everybody was safe, communications was good, radio comms, hand signals, that type of thing. The Macedon Gas Project by the Stryker Club Joint Venture is a historic combination of know-how and skills 
in a unique environment. There are a number of challenging aspects of this project. Uh, the environmental conditions, the safety of the crew, engineering and design in terms of doing world's first, like the umbilical pool. Uh, but a striker cloth, two organisations with over 190 years experience, thrive on challenges. The challenges, the hard work and the efforts have laid the foundation so that the Macedon Gas Project can service the community for many generations to come.